Hey everybody, Uncle Dane here. A common question a lot of new players have when picking up Engineer for the first time is, how do I build a dispenser? And a lot of people will tell you to press 4 and then to press 2, but contrary to popular belief, this is actually how you build the dispenser. You have to use a combination of red stained clay blocks and white wool, as well as some smooth stone and coal blocks to really get the details down. Uh, just don't let a demo man anywhere near your dispenser because you can take so long to build one up to level 3 just to have it destroyed in a matter of seconds. Great. Dispenser going up. Well, I guess that'll do. Actually, today I'm not going to be talking about dispensers. What I'd like to discuss in this video is the answer to a common question I get, which is, what is your favorite primary weapon for the engineer? Uh, the NG has a lot of very cleverly made primary weapons, one of which is not so much clever and more annoying. But the gun that stands out to me the most is the one, the only, Rescue Ranger. You guys may have heard me mention this a few times in other videos already, but I just can't get over how useful a tool the Rescue Ranger actually is. Now notice that I said tool and not weapon there, because when it comes down to it, the Rescue Ranger is not a weapon. It can do damage, yeah, and it can kill people from time to time, but you should never equip the Rescue Ranger expecting to do a great amount of direct damage with it. The thing that makes this shotgun amazing to me is just how much it opens up a brand new way of playing Engineer. So when talking to a few of my friends about the Rescue Ranger, I was surprised to find out just how little the average person actually knows when it comes to the capabilities of this gun. Most people know it's the shotgun that shoots bolts, and you can teleport your gun to yourself without having to be near it. And yes, that is a very useful ability to have, but the best thing about the Rescue Ranger is that you can use it to heal damage from your buildings with the bolts fired from it. Up to 75 health points, in fact. This is a huge buff to your nest's survivability. Now, why is being able to heal your buildings with a gun that important? Well, a very common but seemingly untalked about part of playing Engineer is metal conservation and spending. It takes exactly 200 metal to upgrade your buildings from level to level, but sometimes while upgrading, your building takes damage. This forces you to spend metal on healing the building in addition to upgrading it, which offsets how much metal you're going to need to collect in order to get your buildings to level 3. Let me explain what I mean with an example. Say you're upgrading your sentry gun to level 3. You have access to this one full ammo pack, and it's a bit of a walk away, but since you only have to grab it twice to get your gun to level 3, it's not that bad. Uh, normally with this setup, you can easily get your gun from level 1 to level 3 with 400 metal in a short amount of time. But let's say while you're upgrading your sentry, this guy shows up and starts pestering the gun with rockets. Now that the gun has been damaged, you have no choice but to spend metal in order to get the sentry gun back to full health before you can continue upgrading it. When this happens, you are then forced to grab more metal in order to finish upgrading when you could have already gotten your sentry gun to level 3. This wastes time, and in a game where pretty much every single objective is based on time, these small annoyances will add up. Now, when you bring the Rescue Ranger into this situation, you can use the bolts as an emergency metal reserve that you can use to heal your buildings. Let's look at the same situation as before with the soldier pestering the gun, but this time, when the gun takes damage, I use the Rescue Ranger to heal the damage instead of wasting metal that I could be using to upgrade. This saves me metal, which in turn, saves me time. Another huge upside to using the Rescue Ranger is the freedom to roam a little bit and prevent what I call a turtling style of playing engineer. So very, very often I'll see NGs playing like this, crouching behind their sentry guns, whacking away, making that god-awful clinking sound that a wrench makes when you try and repair something that has full health. I'm pretty convinced that this is why some people both hate playing against and playing as the engineer. It looks so boring and so easy when you see them do it like this. But the truth is, playing like a turtle gets you killed like a turtle. Whenever you're that close to your gun while it's getting trapped by a demo man, you are pretty much guaranteed to die unless you get overcharged, and we all know that that's never going to happen in a pub. So Valve was observant enough to recognize this boring engineer playstyle and introduce the Rescue Ranger, a tool that allows NGs to actually be out of the way of incoming spam and still be able to keep their nest alive without risking their own lives in the process. Thank you Valve, the Rescue Ranger saved this class. Moving on to another really great benefit of equipping the Rescue Ranger, which is tanking your gun. As demonstrated in the previous situation, you can use the bolts to heal your sentry as it takes damage, so naturally the Wrangler is a very powerful secondary to provide borderline overpowered synergy with the Rescue Ranger. Using the Rescue Ranger and the Wrangler to perform what is often referred to as a Sigafu save, named after the Platinum Engineer who popularized the tactic, 
can be an amazing way to tank your gun while it is taking a lot of damage, specifically during an uber charge or while it's being focused down by a demo man or a soldier. The way to do this is to switch to the Wrangler right when you see that your sentry is about to be the recipient of a lot of incoming fire that you don't think your gun can survive. The reason that you do this is so that you can activate the Wrangler shield, which blocks an insane two-thirds of all incoming damage. After you see the shield appear and your gun begins to take damage, position yourself in a way where you won't take any splash damage or indirect fire. This can be as simple as walking a few yards away from your gun and out of the field of view of the attacker. A lot of players who are not used to playing against an experienced engineer often get tunnel vision and only focus on killing the gun. But if done right, the Sigafu save can completely prevent your gun from going down. So after you've gotten out of the way of fire, quickly switch to the Rescue Ranger. When you see your gun is taken damage, use the bolts to heal the damage off as the health depletes. Remember that the sentry automatically becomes unwrangled after 3 seconds after switching away from the Wrangler, so make sure you switch back to the Wrangler if you still need to tank damage after 3 seconds. Also, keep in mind that the bolts heal a maximum of 75 damage each. You have 4 bolts in your clip, which means that you can potentially heal 300 damage per clip, but only if you don't waste the potential heals. For instance, say your sentry takes 50 damage from full health, so you fire a bolt at it. That's 25 you could have healed with the same bolt if you would have just waited a split second longer for it to take a little bit more damage. Theoretically, a building could take one point of damage four times and you could unload your clip on it for the same price of unloading your clip at a building that's taking 300 points of damage. And finally, we can talk about the most well-known feature of the Rescue Ranger, mainly because it's in the name, the ability to rescue your building at any distance for the cost of 130 metal. With it comes the small downside of being marked for death while you haul any building, but it's a tiny price to pay for essentially having theoretically increased mobility with your buildings. What a few people may not know is that you can teleport your building to you at any distance Distance. No matter how far away it is, you can have your building in your hands instantly as long as you place your crosshair on it. If you have 130 metal to spend and Blank's sentry gun shows up under your crosshair, you can rescue it. This is the most useful in Man vs. Machine, where moving your gun out of the blast of a sentry buster is as easy as looking at it, as well as moving your buildings quickly before the next group of robots arrive. Occasionally during a game, I will find myself too far away from my gun to be able to keep it alive with a Sigafu save, so I will simply right click on my sentry and move it on to the next point before the enemy even knows what happened. Just keep in mind that the teleport leaves a bright team color tracer to where you teleported it to, so make sure you can get out of the sightlines of any snipers who might want to pick you off before you can make a complete escape. So what are some of the downsides of using the Rescue Ranger? Well, the biggest issue is that you yourself, the engineer, are a lot more defenseless since you can't really do much damage without a sentry gun. To some engineers, this is a big deal breaker because they want to be able to defend themselves when they are without a sentry. So if you're the type of NG who doesn't like the idea of your nest going down without a fight, the Rescue Ranger might not be the primary for you. Then the main downside listed on the Rescue Ranger stats is that you are marked for death while hauling. Uh, personally, I don't think that this downside is a big deal, and it mostly is because of how much added strength your building gains when you use this gun. Uh, if you can consistently choose good placements for your buildings, you won't need to haul very often anyways. I personally don't find myself moving my buildings very much, and when I do, I make sure I'm not in a situation where I'll be taking damage. And last but not least, the Rescue Ranger can aid you greatly in using the Wrangler to sentry jump to locations you normally wouldn't be able to get to and teleport your already built sentry to you. But that's a video for another day. I'm Uncle Dane. Thanks for watching.